Hello, this is Till from Trifold Productions with another Blender quick tip for beginners. And in this quick tip, I'm going to show you how you can do this really easily in Blender. Let me pull up the video clip that I just, uh, that I've made for the animation I'm work I've been working on for the past like three years. So I'm going to click on play. If you look closely, you can see the fog and the mist in the air when it comes to this scene. And if you want to replicate this in Blender, you would have to use a smoke system or the smoke simulator or the particle system to do, th to do this and it would take quite a long time to get this done when it comes to rendering especially if you don't have a strong enough computer but I'm going to show you how you can do it a lot easier and a lot faster in the video editing aspect of Blender now you'd want to download or use the latest version of Blender anything close to the latest version from 2.9 and above uh, 2.8 is okay, 2.79 and below, not so much. And the reason why I say that is because the video editing sequence editor in Blender for 2.9 and above is a lot better in performance compared to 2.8 and 2.7 and below. So once you've downloaded Blender 2.92 or higher, we're going to open that up. And then we're going to go to our preset windows here. Let's click on our plus sign and go down to video editing and go to video editing, click on that, and it prepares the scene for us which you want to use. Now you can navigate over here to find out where you've saved your video clips. You can go to add and then movie. But a better way to do this is just have uh, the folder where you've saved your video image or your video sequence and your image sequence just have it already opened, which I have done that. So I'm going to click on that. And I'm just going to left click and drag and it drops in the timeline. Now if we scroll up on our mouse wheel, we'll see that our uh, default setting for our time here is just 250 frames, but our video strip is 1084 frames. We want it's the uh, time allotted, or the time we have here to match our video clip time. And to fix that, you just go down to end here, left click in there, and type in the time that your video clip is supposed to last. For mine, it's 1000. And 84 frames, so I'm going to type in 1084, enter, and it automatically uh, resets the uh, duration to meet the, the duration of my uh, video clip. Now we can press play to see how the video looks in our window up here. So let's press play here, and it plays back really nicely. That's why I said uh, new versions of blenders of blenders is better to use than older versions because newer versions of Blender have a better video ed editing soft or video editing sequence editor in it which is kind of a tongue twister but yeah that's the whole point of that let's uh, stop that and go back to the uh, first frame now the next thing we want to do is bring in our, our um, footage by the way this footage that I'm using is, is from Creative Commons so YouTube don't take the video down it's, I'll leave a, a link of the uh, video of this download in the, in the description below this video so you can see that it's authentically Creative Commons. And now we're going to go to uh, find our image image of our uh, fog here. And the key thing with the uh, image for the fog is make sure, just for the sake of being it, making it easy for yourself, make sure that your fog is a .png file. That way uh, the background is automatically transparent. You don't have to worry about trying to blend it into your scene by using other blending modes inside of Blender to eliminate the background to reveal the fog. Once the background is transparent, having a .png file extension on it, it does that automatically. So we're going to do the same process. Left click and drag this fog. This is also Creative Commons, open source, so to speak. YouTube, don't take this video down. It's pretty much legal no strikes. We're going to drag this into our timeline, let that go, and you can see that just as I said prior prior to pull it, putting it in there, the background is transparent so we don't have to do anything else but just pretty much just fix the dimensions of the video or the uh, tr of the fog and also the duration of the fog because as you can see the uh, duration of the fog just stops pretty much at 10 frames we want to go the whole distance of our timeline which is the same for our uh, video sequence here so with your uh, PNG fog image selected we're going to go to the right side of our um, user face user interface window here 
and we're going to click on transform and we're going to go down to let me see uh, let's go down to video I think it's video is it video I'm oh, sorry about that let's go down to time that's what we were looking for and here it says 26 we want to click in this duration time this is the start time this is the end time here this says N2, but you can't change this without changing this first. So click in there and type in 1084. For me, for you, it would be something different, but it has to be in accordance with the length of your video uh, video sequence. So like I said before, for mine is 1084. So for the PNG image, it has to be the same 1084. So we have that set for that time duration. The next thing we want to do is fix the... Uh, dimensions of the PNG image fog and to do that we're going to go to let me see let's go to the transform and we want to scale it on the x-axis so we're going to just click here and kind of eyeball just going to drag this across and there we go we have our fog and if we play it back we can see that it's it looks pretty good you can download bare looking fog or kind of kind of fiddle with this. For me, it's too stretched out on the x axis, so I'm going to kind of stretch it on the y axis, make it a little bit taller, so it kind of matches the scene a little bit better. And you can choose better fog. You can even layer your fog if you want to. I'm going to play that back. Now, if you see in my, the video clip that I showed you earlier of the footage that, or the video that I've been working on, of the movie animation, the fog is moving in the scene. You can see the fog is kind of moving across here. You can see that movement in there. And in order to do that, all you have to do is keyframe this fog. You have to make sure that it's big enough to actually move it across so that there is no clipping on the ends. Excuse me. So we're going to make this a little bit bigger. We're going to scale up, just eyeball it, just make it kind of big. And make it uh, 4.357 on the x-axis and stretch on the y-axis and for the position on the x-axis we're going to drag it to this to the left here and we're going to set a keyframe here by clicking on the circle that says the keyframe have our, our footage our video uh, timeline jump to the end here by pressing on that button and then we're going to drag the fog over to this side and then press the keyframe again go back to the beginning and play that and as you can see the fog is slowly moving across the scene so that's how you can you know create fog or add fog to a scene in blender without having to use the smoke simulator or the particle system in blender and uh, once again I hope this was helpful to those of you who have been watching I hope it was uh, will help you you know just stay encouraged to use blender because I've heard Many times people say that Blender is just so hard to learn, it's just difficult, and it's, they're just kind of just had it with Blender. And that's understandable. I think that's how it's with anything you learn for the first time. But you just stick with it. That's why I do these tips to help people stay encouraged to you know, keep using Blender because Blender is a great piece of software. And once again, again, I thank you guys who have subscribed to the channel and those of you who are subscribing now and those of you who will subscribe in the future. Really appreciate it, and I'll see you guys on the next one. All right, adios.